All right, so this is how to see uh, what traffic sources are affecting your website and kind of go over um, some places to focus on content creation for SEO. Um, so firstly, um, if we look at the last seven days, um, you can see uh, who is the highest referral, like referral traffic source, you know, where, where you should maybe post more blogs. Um, if you look at that over a 90 day period, um, you'll see, especially back here, um, that Google is learning from the traffic that it's sending you. Um, but what you then want to focus on is what pages you can focus on that are the right type of people looking for that content. And that'll be in here. So looking at this, you can see the FAQ page is definitely a place you should spend more time writing content. Um, Kokomaka. Um, content around that. When I pulled up an SEO keyword research, uh, Coco Maca hot drinks, Coco Maca or Maca Coco uh, coffee, uh, Coco Maca um, latte, right? Um, those are all places or all keywords around the hot drink um, that you could do a blog article on. People would really appreciate it. Um, the next thing that I'm seeing in here. Um, is that if you just spent, uh, let's say, 300 words per day and you just spewed content for two to three months, you would see these pages start to spike. Um, you would see your specifically your products, right? Your products pages go up and um, you can see that people are looking at the ingredients frequently. So talking about, uh, you know, what type of ingredients, looking for keywords around um, uh, energy bars or what people are searching for in that area would be a really great place to go. Um, and then you're going to want to see, you know, what you, you have about 43.6% mobile. Um, so clo closing in on half your traffic. Um, you're going to see that site speed, as we showed previously, is, is dramatically affecting that. So I would, if you want to increase your mobile users, um, make sure to focus on the page speed optimizations. So um, I, in the traffic sources, you'll go to acquisition reports to see if you're looking at how, how, how are those people getting there. So, you know, when you're going through this, you're going to see people who directly had um, either it's in their previous URL search um, or whatnot. Um, it could be then you're going to look at the the organic people who site, typed in a search word. Google sent them to your site and um, Google then decides, you know, how how well are those people doing? Right. How long are they staying on the pages? Um, are they leaving before they even get to the site? Where are your top places that you're receiving traffic? Um, knowing where to double down on posting, right? Or if you're spending all your time on Facebook um, and you've never done LinkedIn, uh, then you might want to consider spending more time there, right? Um, so we can apply that over time. And if you're only posting on Facebook um, and not to Instagram or Instagram stories, then um, you know the traffic that you're getting here is actually good, right? And so you'll wanna do a split test of the same amount of content on each platform to see what's performing. If you're doing the same amount of content on all, all these platforms, stop, this is, this is where your ROI is, right? Or redo your strategy on these platforms because it's not working. Right, those are the the two options. Double down on what is working, and then come back to this and try and figure out what these other types of people and the demographics are looking for from you as far as content. Um, we've kind of talked about that as far as email marketing goes. Um, what I'm not seeing here is a spike from Amazon traffic, so people aren't um, coming to your website to cross-reference pricing yet. Um, but I do expect to see that. Um, coming over time and those would be people who directly type in they take like the title of your product that's in amazon and they co copy and paste it it should be in referral sources if that was the case um 
if you only have one code in this simplycodes.com, give them more codes. Um, or, you know, look for other sites where you can put your code that you could see how traffic does there. Because the same code that's working here should work elsewhere. And, um, and this is just over the last. Um, and then I like to look at longer points of time because <laughs> you can see how many times I've come to the website um, <laughs> or people from, from your service have come to the website and looked at things. Um, access wire, um, but Simply Codes is crushing it. So look at competitors of Simply Codes um, and you can do that in similar web. It's uh, free, uh, there's at least a free version of it. And just look for competitors of this company and then post codes there. Um, that would be a worthwhile piece of or time on your part. Um, interesting. Okay. Um, so take note of that and let's go to domain overview. Who are the competitors? Okay. Um, so Simply Code's pretty, pretty niche. Um, Olive and June.com might be a worthwhile one, as would promo code dot ninja. So um, I would test that same code that you have here on those couple of sites and uh, should be good to go. Let me know what questions you have out of this and look forward to talking to you soon.